Hello there. The topic is plain radiography of paranasal sinuses. Here we will discuss some plain radiographs that are usually used for visualizing paranasal sinuses. The first view of first plane radiograph that is commonly used rather most commonly used is water's view also known also known as occipitomental view or nose chin position because it is taken with the nose and the chin of the patient touching the film as can be seen in the picture and x-ray beam is projected from behind it can be taken with open mouth to visualize the sphenoid sinus it is best for visualizing maxillary sinuses. Here is an example of Water's view showing nasal septum, orbits, these are orbits, and upper jaw, lower jaw. So, where are the sinuses? The, this is maxillary sinus, this is left maxillary sinus, this is right maxillary sinus, these are frontal sinuses, and the there is can be visualized is sphenoid sinus through the open mouth the next view is caldwell view also known as occipital frontal view or nose forehead position because it is taken with the nose and the forehead of the patient touching the film and x-ray are projected from behind it is best for frontal and also ethmoid sinuses here is an example of Caldwell view showing bilateral frontal sinuses, ethmoid sinuses and there is maxillary sinuses also visible in Caldwell view. The next view is submento vertical or basal view. This view is taken with vertex near the film and x-ray beam is projected at the right angles to the film from the submental area best for visualizing sphenoid sinus example of sphenoid sinus here it is uh, example of i'm sorry this is example of uh, vertical uh, submen to vertical view or basal view here you can see the sphenoid sinuses bilateral sphenoid sinuses this is right sphenoid sinus this is left sphenoid sinus other view is lateral view here the lateral side of the skull lies against the film and x-ray beam is projected perpendicular from the other side. The structures visualized are anterior and posterior extent of the sphenoid, frontal and maxillary sinuses, ethmoid sinuses and cella tachyca. Example of lateral view showing sphenoid sinus, ethmoid sinuses, this is frontal sinus, anterior wall of frontal sinus, posterior wall of frontal sinus here again maxillary sinus is also visible the anterior and posterior extent of the sinuses is visible in this lateral view 